And tonight, we're taking you inside a warehouse that can save you money. That's the best part. And you don't have to go there for the savings. You can get them while sitting on your couch. But we want you to see how these electronics, these home goods, pretty much everything, are offered at deep discounts. So we sent Kimberly Richardson to go check it out, and she's here with the story. Kimberly? Well, ladies, once you hear the numbers, this all makes sense. This post-holiday season, experts predict returns alone will add up to roughly $63 billion. TVs, iPads, many items end up inside a 150,000 square foot warehouse in New Jersey. We stopped by during what is their busiest time of year. People want the hottest and most in-demand items, but they don't want to spend top dollar for them. iPads, flat screens, coffee makers. We've seen everything from uh, canoes to hot tubs to even uh, the lobster tanks you see in grocery stores. Think of this as the nerve center of what seems like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. There are sweet deals around every corner. There goes a bathroom vanity. The warehouse belongs to Liquidity Services, which sells items that are 20 to 60 percent off what you'd pay in stores. Decked out in proper safety gear, Rob gave me a rare peek inside this operation and explained how it works. And we take their uh, customer return goods, overstock goods, and we help them uh, move them off their shelves and resell them. They are seven of the top 10 retailers in the U.S. All of this once sat on their shelves. It's eventually trucked here. Everything is sorted. Electronics are tested and evaluated. It's all photographed and posted online. That's when you get in on the action. On liquidation.com, you bid on groups of like items. We spotted three iPad minis, 366 apiece, compared to 429 in store. At secondipity.com, you'll also find bargains. A 40 inch flat screen, you save roughly $150. Everything here in this warehouse, including this bathtub, will eventually sell. It may take some time, but surprisingly, things only stay in this warehouse for about 30 days. And there's buyer's remorse, people change their mind. Um, more lenient return policies definitely contribute to some of the volume that we're seeing. Then liquidation.com is geared towards small business owners who then may resell the items on websites like eBay or in local brick and mortar stores. Second Dippity targets individual consumers like you ladies, Lori and Diane. <laughs>